Ahoy and welcome! My name is Clemens Helm and you're watching CodeChip Testing Tuesday number 5. Last week we talked about how to deploy your web application to Heroku using CodeChip. This week we're going to take a look at how to automatically test your web application in your browser using Selenium. Selenium automates browsers. It acts like a remote control to your browser that lets you define user interactions like clicking links or filling in forms. There are two Selenium tools available. The first one is Selenium IDE, which will just record your interactions as you perform them and let you playback them afterwards. The second one is Selenium WebDriver, which hooks into your favorite testing tool and lets you run your integration tests in the web browser. Let's get started with Selenium IDE first. You can download the Firefox plugin on the Selenium website. Currently it's released in version 2.00. So that's what I've got installed here on my Firefox. We're using a little app called Superheroes Guide here. We created it in the last two Testing Tuesday episodes, so you might want to check them out. It's not really necessary though. Let's open up Selenium IDE by clicking the icon in the top right corner. The interface is fairly simple. There is a record button that's already on and there's a test case named untitled. When we perform an action like clicking a link, we can see that it recorded the action in Selenium. So it opened the root path and it clicked the link metropolis and waited for the page to load. Now to finish a test, we still need to make sure that we're on the correct page right now. So what we could do is right click the headline and you can see in the context menu there are already some suggestions. So let's select verify text present Metropolis protected by Superman. Now we can just replay the whole test. And it worked. It was a little bit fast though, so let's change the speed to slow to see what's happening. Great. We can also change our tests after recording them. For example, the headline here is a little bit too specific. Let's make it more generic by just checking if Superman is present. And it still works. One of the cool features of Selenium IDE is that you can change the base URL of your tests. So let's say we want to run these tests on an online version of our application. When we hit the play button, it goes to the online version clicks through it and it still worked. This way you can make sure that everything you have tested also works in your online application. Now let's take a look at Selenium WebDriver. It is available for many programming languages like Java, PHP or Ruby. Luckily for us, it's quite easy to use the Selenium WebDriver with Cucumber. So we can run our existing Cucumber features in the browser with Selenium WebDriver. In order to run Cucumber scenarios with Selenium WebDriver, we just need to tell our application to use Selenium WebDriver first, then install it, and tell Cucumber to use Selenium. When we run Cucumber now, it will open up Firefox and run our tests there. And as we can see, everything still passed. So what's the advantage of running your features with Selenium? Selenium gives you a full web browser. Normally Cucumber will only check the HTML response of your application. But with Selenium, you can even run features that require JavaScript. Selenium will also check if you can actually interact with your elements. So if your elements aren't accessible because they're overlapped by other elements or they are hidden in your CSS, Selenium will fail. This will make you even more certain that your whole application still works. The disadvantage of Selenium WebDriver is that it's much slower than the usual Cucumber driver because it has to start the web browser and execute the tests therein. That's why at CodeChip we decided to run only features requiring JavaScript using Selenium WebDriver and all other features using the default Cucumber driver. Finally, let's compare Selenium IDE and Selenium WebDriver. Selenium IDE is a browser plugin. 
You just need to install it in order to get started. Selenium WebDriver is a testing framework driver, so it requires you to have a testing framework first. Selenium IDE doesn't require any programming skills. You can just get started by recording and replaying your tests, and everything works in the user interface. To use Selenium WebDriver, you need to know how to write tests in a programming language. The main disadvantage of Selenium IDE is that tests are brittle. If the user interaction in your app changes, then you will need to rewrite all the tests to reflect this change. When you use Selenium WebDriver with Cucumber, your features stay maintainable. If the user flow of your application changes, you just need to adapt a single step definition and all features will work again. So if you are new to programming and testing, I highly recommend you checking out Selenium IDE. If you know how to write your own tests, you are better off using Selenium WebDriver. This was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you've got an idea what I should cover in next week's episode, or you can recommend a good hairdresser, please leave a comment or send me an email to clemens at codeship.io. See you next week. Until then, always stay shipping.